Hey everybody, I'm Roberto Baldwin. And I'm Carrie Davis, and we brought you to the woods. Amongst the trees, probably with bears nearby. So just because you're camping doesn't mean you have to leave all your favorite tech things at home. We found some great stuff that we will be testing out for the very first time in the woods. Did I pick the best spot or did you? Now, I got a banana slug in my spot. Need some of that camping perfume. We'll be pitting four different camp stoves against each other to see which is worth your money. Of these, some charge your device and other wonderful techie things, and some are just good old standbys. Then we'll use our favorite stoves to make our food, which all comes from an online meal delivery company that focuses on outdoor grub. I'm there missing so many tweets. Are you okay? I don't know. <laughs> Now that we're all set up, it's time to get down to what matters most after shelter, and that's food, y'all. We'll be testing some tech-enabled cooking gear to get started by seeing first which of these boil eight ounces of water fastest, and frankly, which ones we like using the most. The JetBoil Genesis Base Camp 2 burner system is about $350, not including our favorite attachment with a base for the companion cup, so it's expensive. It takes up a lot of real estate unfolded, but folds down to this nifty little carrying case, which also includes all the pans you need to cook in a place like this. And four seconds. Wow. That's wow. That thing is not messing around. Yeah, that thing mm -hmm. boils super quick. The BioLite wood burning camp stove is about $100 and not at all like your usual camp stove. It's more like a mix between a large backpacking stove and something that charges all your gadgets. You create power by breaking little sticks as kindling for heat and also using a fire starter. I want to just move your phone away. I know, I feel like everything around this is, is it's, <laughs> it's in danger. I think, oh, I think the problem, I think we're out of, out of sticks. That's an issue. Oh. Oh, we are. All right, let's throw some here. You want to All right, let's, that call that, let's call that around like two minutes because it was at a good little simmer. For the backpackers out there, this Snow Peak Giga Power Stove Auto Ignition Canister Attachment is just as effective. For about 40 bucks, it's a solid bet, too. The question is how quickly do you need things to boil in the, in the woods? Oh, it's boiling. There we go. Yeah, we got a rolling boil at 425. Ugh, that took a billion years. <laughs> This is my personal Coleman gas stove for camping. Ones just like it cost about 60 bucks, and what's great is that you can feed a lot of people with it and quickly. It might be the old standby for car camping, but it's no slouch in our time trial, coming to a full boil at 157. Wait, so was that Jetboil, Coleman, BioLite, this thing? Yes. Wow, that's not how I thought that would go down. Jet boil, that was impressive. That's like the ding, 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 ding winner, I think, for all of us. We are really into the jet boil. Yeah. This whole system is pretty, pretty, it's pretty cool. It is. And yeah. for, for your family or like the hip couple. I really like the BioLite because you just with like a few little twigs, you don't have to bring propane with you anywhere, just random twigs you find on the ground, you throw them in there, and it made a pretty, a, an impressive scary and carry type flame. That was cool. No, I just think if you're like really cooking something that you want the consistency to be high, like if you're making pancakes. I'm not going to cook pancakes with that. Yeah, you can, pancakes that's the like point. A, you should only have to bring one cook stove on a camping trip. If you like pancakes, like Carrie in the wild. I love pancakes If you're and an bacon. IHOP employee, maybe not the bio life, but for everyone else, it's awesome. I made fire! Yeah! All hell, Carrie. Because getting food together for a camping crowd can feel overwhelming, I ordered Eats from Fireside Provisions, which specializes in this sort of trip. The website lets you select meals and snacks for the weekend, then ships it all to you in a box that's ready to be thrown in the back of your car. However, two people for one weekend? That's gonna cost you 60 bucks. Egg, Egg crystals. Delicious. The way God intended. I'll be making a vegetarian dish with the recipe listed on the seasoning packet, while Carrie paid an extra 10 bucks for these pork chops. Most of the food tasted good, but we weren't so into all the packaging waste. Watch your thumb. The chili sauce makes it good. That's funny because it's just the Kikoman chili sauce you can just buy at the store. I would just bring my own food. 
I'm just gonna use my fingers because we're camping. So? It's really good. All right, there you go. If you're new to camping and you're pretty well off, you're just like, hey, let's go camping. I'm gonna go REI and buy the most expensive stuff, but I don't wanna worry about food. That, I think that's the, the customer base. There's a, there's a ton of little like baggies that we ended up having because everything was individually packaged. I agree with you though. I think there's a certain market for the kind of person who wants to use that. Um, but if somebody's really used to going camping, they already know what to bring. Should we get back to cell phone Yeah, range? let's go home. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Bye trees. That's like a fire tornado. If you're camping with your family and like little kids, that's gonna like creep you out just a little bit. Yeah. I think, right? But if it's just you. If it's a bunch of adults and you. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>